This is what you need to know about Thailand before you go. If you are a big player with the ladies, you may become Facebook famous. You may have heard me speak about this recently on one of our last videos about Thailand. But for those who haven't, there are many different groups on Facebook that are filled with Thai women who date foreign men. The idea is if a woman dates a guy and he turns out to be a bad guy, she takes his pictures and his text message and shows everybody in the group to warn them not to speak to this person. Some women use it also when they meet a guy to find out if anybody else in the group has spoken to him before or not. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you are single and you are dating in Thailand, then it's important to be aware of this. Two, health insurance locally is often cheaper and more convenient. Over the years, there have been many documented cases of expats who have had trouble using and accessing their health insurance while living in Thailand. And when looking at the health insurance, you will often find that local health insurance is cheaper and more convenient. 3. It is possible to live on less than $600 or $700 a month comfortably. This is a question that's often submitted on our website and it's a very popular topic. And I can confirm it is true, it is very possible to live in Thailand for $600 or $700 a month. There are some things that you will need to do in order to live within this budget. If you are interested in this topic, smash that like button and I'll make sure that I do a video about this very subject in the next two weeks. 4. During COVID-19, many have turned to OnlyFans. This is a relatively interesting topic as there are certain laws against this kind of material in Thailand. Through the pandemic, many businesses in Thailand have closed and many others have lost their jobs. Over the last few months, there have been many media channels such as Bangkok Post that has explored the rise of OnlyFans creators. 5. Most items can be purchased locally. There are some items that you will need to take before you come to Thailand. These include any of your medicine or a mask, but the majority of items can be purchased in malls and also on the online platform Lazada. 6. According to the National Proficiency Index, Thailand has a very low level of spoken English. If you are planning to live in Bangkok or Phuket, you will often find a good level of English. But if you are planning to live in more remote areas or in areas low in tourism, you will find that the English proficiency is not the strongest. But on this subject, one area I've found very interesting is just how highly in demand conversational English is. And there are definitely some great opportunities for those entrepreneurs out there.